Hello, steamies. I'm back with another fan review. But not just any fan review. Remember I talked about how I had in my first batch of fan review videos, there was one that I never got round to from the original batch and wanted to finally get done? Well, my friends, this is that video. Today, I am going to be reviewing the channel The Ravaloxian Thunderbird. I really do not know the pronunciation of that name, so if I've offended, I apologize. But this is a channel that I have watched for some time, and I was very fortunate to meet the creator of said channel when he came over from Australia to my little country of Scotland. It's the first time I've actually met a member of the Thomas fandom from international waters. And honestly, it was a great day. We went out, had some model train shops, had a bite to eat, good times. Especially last year when I was not in the best of mental health. So I wanted to take a little bit of time before I did this one because I wanted to do it right. As a special thank you to this creator. Now I went through and watched all of his videos. I've watched all of his short videos. I have watched all of his long form content. And he definitely deserves more than the amount of subscribers that he's got at the time of this recording. So I encourage all of my fans to go and subscribe to his channel. Just for the layout alone is absolutely fantastic. All of the engines that he's got custom made, this is stuff that I look at and wish I had the skill to do, but let's be honest, I don't. So I sit in amazement of this type of stuff. When it comes to reviewing his original fan content under the rules that I've stated previously, he only has four original stories. So I'm going to review each one of them and give them a mark out of 10. Once again, these are all my own personal opinions. Let me know in the comments what you think of this video. And more importantly, go and subscribe to the Raveloxian Thunderbird. He's more than earned it. With that in mind, let's dive in. Neville and the Blitz. One night, Neville is shunting when all of a sudden, the Blitz begins. This story is based off of a true event, an event that happened during World War II, specifically the Brighton Blitz in 1943. As a short story showing what Neville was up to when the Blitz first occurred. Now I know that this creator is a Doctor Who fan, so I really liked the fact there was a mini TARDIS as a cameo in the background. There was a great use of visuals and in particular the audio for the sirens in this. Not much is said in the video, but what is shown is really strong. My only gripe is that it's so short. I love to see a continuation of the story. It ends with Neville heading away after doing shunting to try and get back as the blitz is just happening. I would love to see something that would go further with the story. What happened on his journey? Did he encounter any trouble? Maybe this YouTuber has some ideas around that type of content. If he does, I would be very interested to hear them. And I'm sure a lot of the fandom would want to know as well. 7 out of 10. Old Fashioned. Daisy calls Percy slow and out of date, but soon has the last laugh. Again, it's short, but the visuals more than make up for it. They are absolutely fantastic. The camera work, the use of different angles, the cameos of all the engines that he has, like, for example, Stepney. You can tell that there has been a clear up in game and improvement in quality between these two. I just wish it was fleshed out a little bit more. But at the same time, this is also a really nice, short and sweet episode. It's very charming and very season two-esque, which I know is this creator's favorite season of Thomas and Friends, much like myself. Eight out of 10. The unexpected. Old slow coach is going to be put back in service, but Bear breaks down en route. This is an episode that has old slow coach and Edward as leads. Now this is a pairing I never thought I would see, but I really wish now that they'd done in the classic series of Thomas and Friends, because it makes so much sense. Old Soul Coach, well, it's in the name, she's old. Edward is one of the older engines on Sodor. There would be a lot of camaraderie and mutual respect for each other, and probably a lot of stories that could be told between them. Kind of similar to what Edward and Victoria had in the stories in the railway series book, Thomas and Victoria. Obviously, having Bear in it is brilliant because he never got introduced in TV series canon. He was a railway series exclusive. But again, it's just too short. It feels like the start of a two or three part story and we don't have parts two and three. Now I know this creator, I'm pretty sure he has a lot of ideas in his head. Maybe he's just not got around to doing it yet. It could be something that maybe 
I am saying, and then knowing my luck in a few weeks, here's that video. Well, I feel like a right dick. And again, these videos are not meant to insult. They are not meant to criticize. They are intended to promote great fan creators. So I want to see more of his stuff. And I want to see conclusions to these stories. They piqued my curiosity and they have my attention. The voice actors in this were great. The pairing of Edward and Slow Coach was brilliant. And there's a lot of untapped potential there. Very well done. 8 out of 10. Ben and the engine with amazing pulling power. Ben meets Neville, an odd-shaped engine, and is in awe of him. This is the type of episode that I love. It's an amazing seven-minute episode that covers all the bases. The beginning, the middle, the end. It doesn't necessarily need any more added on to it. It's a complete cohesive story and it's absolutely fantastic. Now I have to put my conflict of interest hat on here because I did voice Bill and Ben in this episode. So go and check it out to see what you thought of my Bill and Ben voices. But one of the reasons that I loved doing this was because the writing was so, so good. The story flowed and then all the visuals just added to that greatness that came with the story. It's character pairings that I never would have thought of that really intrigued me about this. Ben and Neville. Their dynamic is very interesting. Ben is in awe of Neville because of how he looks and the type of pulling power that he has. Then he gushes about this engine to Bill and Bill is in turn extremely pissed off about it. Ben is wanting to talk about someone that is not in the little twin circle. So it shows off the perfect nature of their cheeky prickish attitudes. What I really loved about this episode is the experimentation of camera angles that he used. Especially when Neville had broke down and was having to get help with Ben going up the hill and then coming back down the hill. It was a very unique and intriguing use of camera work in this. The layout was fantastic, the story was great, and I was very impressed. Even taking myself out of the voice acting review, the rest of the voice actors were amazing. It was a great story. A great project to be a part of. 9 out of 10. And that's it, Steamies. That is my review of the fan channel, The Ravaloxian Thunderbird. And in turn, officially ends my fan reviews series. Now, I say officially ends because it means that I am not going out of my way to find content to review on this series. You guys are liking other videos more than these fan reviews. And while I love doing them, I'm trying to take a lot more care and doing the reviews that you're looking for because they're the ones that you want to see. But it does not mean that I am going to stop fan reviews. As a matter of fact, I've got another two coming out in the next two weeks. But it'll be more a case of if someone reaches out with a project, wants me to review it, and they still fall under the criteria that I have set, channels under 10,000 subscribers with original stories that they have wrote themselves, or are by fellow smaller YouTube creators, then I will review them. If not, then I won't. But thank you so much to everybody that has let me review their channels. Thank you for the feedback on these videos. And most importantly, thank you for watching them. You took an idea that I was a bit hesitant about because of experiences with online abuse and trolling, and you made it a happy, positive experience where you promoted others and didn't tear each other down. So thank you all very much, and until next time, keep on chugging.